Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another very delicious recipe video for you guys. I'm making a spicy miso veggie ramen noodle bowl. And I've been so obsessed with these lately and I thought I just had to share this recipe with you guys because it's so, so easy. So for this you'll need some brown rice ramen, um, some filtered water, miso paste, um, any hot sauce that you like to make it spicy, Worcestershire sauce, soya sauce, and mushrooms. Actually, sorry, I'm using coconut aminos instead of soy sauce in this. Next, you'll just need some veggies. I'm using broccoli, kale, red cabbage, um, some green onion, uh, black sesame seeds, shredded carrots, I get these pre-shredded, and some kombu uh, seaweed, which I love, and it's so full of really healthy minerals um, for you, so it's awesome. You're gonna wanna marinate your mushrooms. This is gonna be kind of like the meaty base, uh, or the meat substitute, and you're just gonna add the coconut aminos and the Worcestershire sauce, and just let it kind of sit there for a few minutes, anywhere like from 10 to 20 minutes, however long you want. I think I let mine sit for five. And, uh, and then it's, you're gonna cook it down later in a saucepan. Now I'm gonna use my little chopsticks here and I'm gonna mix um, some miso paste with some warm water. And you're just gonna kind of um, mix that up and that's gonna allow the miso paste to just kind of dissolve so you don't have miso chunks in your noodle bowl, which nobody's gonna like. You're gonna be like biting into salty chunks of miso. Um, so in a uh, skillet on medium heat, you're gonna put in, you can put some um, oil, I used a little bit of sesame oil, and you're just gonna throw in your mushrooms that have been marinating for, you know, five minutes. <laughs> And you're just gonna saute that. I saute it for about three minutes. It doesn't take long before they get all nice and tender. Um, during that time, you can go ahead, pop your brown rice ramen uh, noodles into some boiling water, just like you do with Mr. Noodles. And if you remember, you put those on for about two and a half to three minutes long to cook. It's exactly like instant noodles. And um, after that's done, your uh, mushrooms should be well cooked now, and they're looking very delicious. And you're just gonna throw in your noodles, with the broth um, because you want want this to be kind of a soup. If you don't want it to be a soup, you can leave it without. Um, and I'm using my chopsticks here that I got from Thailand. So I just thought I would whip these out for this recipe for you guys. And you're just gonna throw in that miso paste that you've already dissolved. That way, like I said, it mixes well with the water and doesn't get all chunky. Now you're gonna wanna add in your veggies. I'm throwing in the kale, the broccoli. I like to add them in raw. That way you're getting the benefits of raw veggies because they're only gonna get slightly cooked. And then I'm adding the carrots, fried cabbage. Kind of mix that in there so the veggies can kind of just get heated up um, by the liquid, um, but they're not really gonna get cooked, which just makes this even more healthy and full of um, lots of uh, vitamins and minerals that aren't getting cooked down as if when if, as if you're like gonna boil it, you know. So then you're gonna add in your hot sauce, your seaweed. Both of those are optional if you don't want it uh, hot or you don't have seaweed on hand, it's totally fine. And then you're gonna add in your marinated sauteed mushrooms and the green onions and I just love that combination. So you're gonna go ahead, mix it all in there and you have yourself an amazing ramen noodle bowl that is like a spicy miso. The one I get at Ryoji, I think it's called in Toronto, it's called my spicy miso, so this is why I kinda went for that that kick. And then I added some the black sesame seeds and just some wedges of lime uh, for an extra citrus kick. And this is so amazing, delicious, so good for you. And it's really going to fill you up for either lunch or dinner. And I hope you guys really enjoy this recipe and try it out. Send me pics on Instagram, um, hashtag healthnuteats. And I will definitely like your photos and find you there. And if you guys like this video and want to see more healthy recipes like this, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Leave me comments down below letting me know what you guys would like to see next. And I'll see you later. Bye.